Now, I have here the hands of someone, a 36-year-old lady. She sent me pictures, very clear and detailed pictures. We've got a mole here, look. In this full palmistry reading, I will be looking at the marriage lines or attachment lines. I'll be looking as well at the differences in the left and right. Now, notice the island here that's developing or has already developed on the fate line. We don't quite see the same thing here on the right. There's an overlapping headline here, which you know you can see on the right there is a bit of a cross formation formed by the occurrence of a headline coming into contact with a fate line. So first of all, I'm going to describe what I see in terms of character, personality, skills, and then I'm really gonna get into the uh, information that can be extracted through the lines of the palms. Notice the lifeline here, and, and the difference between the lifeline on the right hand as well, that's interesting. It makes the Venus mount appear much smaller on the right hand, the way the lifeline curves tightly around the Venus mount. It's much smaller on the right hand than it is on the left. Now, these distinct differences show uh, the differences between internal and external, and often, um, other signs in the palms will provide us the answers. So this person is overall a bit of a conic hand. The features of the palms themselves are quite rounded off. The fingertips are round. Um, they appear kind of full, um, you know, full bodied. And the only exception really is this sort of low hanging Pluto mount down here. It's very sort of squared off down here. Lunar itself, though, is nice and rounded. Venus. Um, there is a little bit of a spatulate element to Apollo, which normally you can associate that with someone who likes to make things um, with their hands. They like a tactile uh, finished end, a physical finished result to their efforts. Conic-handed people are energetic. They are enthusiastic. They are often um, inclined towards artistic, creative industries. They have great taste, normally. Quite literally, they know how to um, utilize their sense of culinary taste as well as their taste in um, architecture, fashion, design. One of the things I notice about this image straight away, and the differences now, is that Jupiter appears to lean a little bit further away from Saturn on the right hand in terms of sort of natural finger leanings. Now, if this is something that is an accurate representation of how this person's fingers lean naturally, well, this provides us with an image of someone who is thinking more independently now. They are more willing now to uh, think about themselves and um, they have developed a greater and stronger sense of the self. This is noted by how Jupiter here is actually longer on the right hand than it is on the left. Their confidence, their self-worth, their self-esteem has increased. Notice how all the fingers, with the exception of Jupiter on the left hand, bend towards Saturn. Saturn is the finger of responsibility, duty, of uh, contribution towards society, how we hold ourselves upright in the social sphere. It's planning, it's the inevitable, it's our mood, and it's uh, it's time as well. Saturn is also Kronos, Father Time. And so when all things lean towards this, it shows that their key trait revolves around this. They have a strong sense of right and wrong. This is someone who is highly, strongly uh, morally obligated. And also, the way that Apollo bends um, heavily towards uh, Saturn as well shows that they, uh, their achievements, their abilities, their capabilities, their talents are focused on their duty. So they utilize their abilities in order to provide for others. This is very important to them, and this is something that weighs down on them. They are strong um, family commitments at home. I notice that the fingers themselves are quite 
wide they're quite girthy and it shows a strength of personality it shows that actually this is someone that's not really um they're quite blunt they're what you see is what you get and also they're quite capable in terms of uh, managing money making money they're quite an effective and efficient with their talents and i believe they are multi-talented as well notice the thumb here it's sort of wasted in slightly here and it shows uh, the delicate sense of tact and diplomacy it is someone who is quite gifted i think in terms of facilitating difficult discussions notice how mercury especially on the left hand here it's long and the way it curves in as well is another uh, it's a gentle curve it's another sign of uh, diplomacy this is someone who's very gifted in terms of their uh, persuasive abilities they are um, not necessarily manipulative but they are very able to um, project their point of view across in quite a measured way i believe we're seeing a composite whirl on jupiter that's interesting i'm going to have a look at the other fingers and i can see here on the left hand a bit of a radial loop uh, which is a sign of uh, leadership as is this length of jupiter on the right hand you've developed this sense of um, self-esteem self-worth confidence and notice how jupiter as well is probably the highest mount as well and you know the the thickness of the fingers you know as i say sort of blunt strong personality um the radial loop that we've just seen here coming in from the thumb here um combined with the whirl we see on jupiter here this shows us a perceptive eye leadership qualities um a strong um mothering skills as well a strong sort of um, motherhood leadership capabilities as well as a very perceptive eye someone who's potentially this one here shows us potential to uh, lacking of an ability to take criticism as well and uh, it's quite a unique look i mean you can't get a very clear picture um but i think it's a it's a loop if not it's a peacock's eye uh, but this one right here i mean we've got a, a really sort of highly perceptive view of judging others authority as well there's all the all the uh, traits of uh, a leader are seen here so i think this person is a manager of a sort or at least they fall into roles of leadership in some way i think they are uh, leading um you know at the head of uh, some sort of you know a, a group of others and i noticed the thumb here we have here the eye of ganesh or ganesha and see it here as well on the right excellent this is a really nice sign it's a sign of uh, potentially in indian palmistry someone who was kind to animals in a past life and so they have good karma uh, in this life uh, essentially it it does seem to provide opportunities and luck in all the palms i've seen um it does seem to be not that's not to say that there aren't unlucky things that happen um because we do see quite an unfortunate um period in this person's um uh, supposed fate in fact not so much there i mean there will be a corroboration in the lifeline with this but this uh, is not something i see all that often and actually when we see a disturbance like this in the fate line it's normally some sort of uh, negative experience that adds to a person's uh, wisdom and in some way it creates a positive effect in later life somehow so this is certainly a leader of a sort this is someone with a very creative um very creative skills i think they are very money minded they are um, they're good judges of character and i think they like to see tangible results through their efforts and i can see on the left hand now let's start getting into the chirology a little bit now the left hand here we see the uh, fate line and it rises from 
um, Neptune. Neptune's well developed. This person, as I say, persuasive. They have a good ability to captivate and hold an audience. I think in some way, um, their work at the very least is is quite eye opening. I think it, it catches the attention of others. Now notice on the right hand, the fate line stems from a slightly different area. It's a more creative field, and this. This for me, I think it shows that initially she was. You can see this secondary fate line here. So, this on the left hand now, the left hand shows us what's internal. Um, it's our thoughts and fears and desires. And on the left hand, this fate line here is what she wanted to do. On the right hand, she's actually carved the career that she wanted herself. And so, this was the initial kind of. Um, conformist sort of you know average sort of nine to five kind of type of role that she had for herself and then this happened but before i get into any of that um i will begin at the beginning it's only fair but something i do want to mention here and this is this is a lovely little sign here notice this this fate line here it's connected with this mercury line this mercury line is known as a bow of intuition because the mercury line is the health line the health line it shows us our central nervous system our nervous system is how we sense and perceive it shows us our subconscious awareness now when we have a mercury line that bows like this curvature of the mercury line such as this shows us someone with high intuition now i've already mentioned this person's perceptive their ability to judge others is strong and i think this person has likely an ability to just sort of know that certain things get a certain feeling about a person um but more than that there's likely a connection here with some other kind of uh, extrasensory gift it's connected with her chosen uh, and desired career so her artistic her creative sense which is again subconscious and abstract is in some way tied in with her kind of extra sensory gift here now notice how the lifeline here is connected to the fate line uh, ah no forgive me this is a mercury line right here uh, okay i thought i was seeing the formation right okay and this Mercury line here is faint on the right hand, which is not altogether a bad thing. And I can see here that it's directly connected with the beginnings of this person's success. This is her success line, her Apollo line or sun line. And you can see the roots of it are hinting at stemming from this Mercury line, this person's ability to instinctively judge. So there's a sense of feeling here, and this is such a conic feature. Conic hands are exceptional with their feeling. They have a, a good feeling about things. It's not to say this person isn't able to um, assess the facts and uh, judge logically by, you know, mathematically or just by connecting patterns. This is certainly someone who's able to do that. Uh, as I've already said, they're good with money. Um, that the straightness, the overall straightness of the headline here, forgetting the fact that it's overlapped, we'll come back to that, shows as someone who's a straightforward thinker, a straight shooter. You know, the the bluntness that I've mentioned here, a very sort of genuine personality, what you see is what you get with this person, and this person expects the same from others, and, and rightly so. Notice how the heart line reaches right over onto Jupiter, right up here as well. This is high idealism and a multifaceted uh, emotional kind of love language as well. This is someone who requires deep physical connection, as well as someone who requires time and energy and effort when uh, receiving love. This person's instincts are intertwined with their success. As I've already mentioned on the left hand here, this person's fate, their chosen career, their artistic and creative uh, sense of you know what feels right what looks right 
what the right move is at the right time is directly linked with their intuition. They have an innate sense, and likely inherited um, keen instinct here. This is such a conic feature, it really is. But to see it on the right hand as in a different formation is, is more practical materialistically. It, you can see how it materializes into having a direct influence on their success on the right hand. Now this is interesting. And I notice here there are good Samaritan lines here on the Mercury Mount. These are these upward vertical uh, lines here on the Mercury Mount are known as uh, the lines of the healing stigmata. And I've seen these on the hands of teachers, counselors, carers, social workers, doctors. I've seen these on just the hands of parents. And really it shows a good nature, someone who's, as I've already mentioned, highly idealistic, someone who's strongly morally obligated. Uh, there's a lot of family commitments at home. Uh, this is someone who is guiding, who is leading an authority. And in the way that they're doing it, they're doing it in quite a, um, a protective way as well. Now, what I find interesting is here, I'm going to get to the bottom of this little island right here, because I don't see it in the right hand. I mean, it, the faint line becomes more faint at this time, but it's not, it's not the same, it's not nearly the same formation at all. And this is around about the age of 25, probably 24 to 27 something around that time in their life. So if we look for corroborating evidence on the lifeline, let's look at the right hand and we'll look at how this affected this person physically. We can't see, I mean, so a square developing on the inside of the lifeline shows isolation from society, potential hospital visit here. So the fate line, does at some uh, sometimes it can reveal information regarding the spine it's a bit of a a, a spinal a gauge of uh, spinal health if you like um, now the fact that i'm seeing on the left hand only shows me this is something actually a lot more internal a lot more emotional or psychological the fate line i liken to a kind of plant as a sort uh, ever since I did my Dalai Lama reading, notice the branches here, branches here, efforts made, reaching out towards several areas of the life, they're uh, reaching and calling on uh, various aspects of their psyche and uh, skills, uh, personality at different times. And And this is a leaf in that plant, this little island here, it's weighing the um, the fate down in some way. It's slowing down the energy. It, it's a burden on the overall plant here. Um, but it also, although it might be negative because it's heavy, it does attract sunlight. And what I mean by that is that this negative experience in some way is always useful and then creates wisdom. We've almost got what looks like here a sort of downward branch here. This is truly weighing down and, and preventing progress. Um, and it sort of veers this path off course. Um, this, this person's journey in, in life is being prevented until we have here some influence from the family sphere, from this person's mother, most likely. And you can see these, these gentle sort of influencing lines supporting. And they come over and they affect. They come and mend this fate line. They stop this path here and they say, no, 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 no. You're on this course. This is where you belong. And so the, the plant, if you like, carries on its growth in the correct direction. Now, where this person is in their life at the moment is actually around about this age here. And at this time, we can see, again, more influence, because at this point in time, 35 at least, this person's 36, things are um, 
I don't want to say difficult, maybe not the right word. I think it's just busy. Uh, I think they are busy at this time. And I don't think work is earning quite as much money as it should. At least this is their feelings about the role. Now on the right hand here, where the fate line meets the headline is generally at 35, unless you have some sort of anomaly. Now the headline here, notice how it, after a certain age, it sort of tries to take a different course and it in a way it sort of appears it gives this appearance of a doubling of a massive island it's not quite accurate it's not quite an island although perhaps it was in the past maybe it's mended itself maybe this has yet to fully form in fact but the true form the true direction of this headline is down the headline it veers downwards and it shows that Life was very difficult at this point in time. And again, that coincides with this time right here, 24 to 27. The headline veers downwards and, and it tries to sort of pick itself back up again. And there is a, an island here. This is a stressful time. Things are very difficult. But this fake line where it meets the headline here, this lower headline, is not. 35 this is more 35 and what we see is just before this time we see a secondary career line a secondary fate line now where this chosen fate line this career path is we see how this intersects with the head where the headline doubles and that doubling of the headline is showing this person's need to think in a very different way in a different environment um in front of different people so this person has to be to switch heads um and become a completely different person um, at home than in work and this is how she's seen in work and this is who she is at home someone who's uh, a lot more abstract instinctive and um appears actually um happier and brighter in in front of her work colleagues i think that, you know there's a great deal um to to deal with at home so just before the age of 35 about 33 34 there appears to be a secondary um career path perhaps and i think maybe one uh th this current career path she's on is not as fruitful as it used to be it's not as easy not as satisfying perhaps and so this secondary um more conventional role is being picked up here things feel quite uncertain at the moment but i have no doubt this person will become successful and i say that because you know, even their feelings about success is fairly strong, or at least what they're capable of. But look at this success line here. Although there is a bit of an obstacle here, overall success is tremendous. And look at the way it bends and curves towards uh, Mercury. This is a sign of um, freedom of expression. Uh, it's a sign of... Uh, peace and happiness uh, in, in later life and also you've got a square here which is a wonderful sign this obstacle here actually opens up an opportunity this this um it, it doesn't impede it actually strengthens success later on this square here on the apollo mount is a, a protective sign it's a sign of success in an artistic career and it's also a sign of sobriety in so much as they will not be uh, corrupted by their success in the uh, creative or artistic uh, path they won't let it get to their heads so although we see you know the career line or the fate line appears to kind of peter out, uh, peter out it stops essentially and after this, things become a little bit unclear. Is this a fate line as well? Well, yes, it is. 
but the this person's fate essentially is quite literally in their own hands and there's a feeling of sort of drifting here now that might not sound all that positive however remember this person has extremely keen instinctive abilities and they will know what the right move is at the right time there will be an opportunity to uh, develop a, a sort of a creative uh, career now the marriage lines here you see on the left hand you've got a few uh, relationships here whereas on the right hand you can only see two and this is because the left and the right hand shows what's internal and what's external and the only two uh, really um, the more meaningful relationships are these two right here and these are the two that have had a, uh, an almost um, the right hand is what's practical and physical material so for relationship lines to um, transpire from the left to the right hand they really need to be almost um, so impactful that they're physical so that's what this means I mean ultimately um, there are two main loves in this person's life and timing the relationships of these is quite difficult from this section of the hand alone and not really prepared to uh, judge or estimate based on this now this is an interesting image because we have a bit more clarity in terms of what's going on with the lines in some respects anyway um, and the dermatoglyphics so notice now this deep and inevitable success here um, I remember I was mentioning how the career line was sort of non-existent um, at least that's what it appeared like on the other image well look here this is the career line here and it shows a clear and stable fulfilling uh, work life after the age of 53 um, before this time from from 30 from 45 to 53 it's a bit of an unsteady um unstable time this might well be due to some sort of hurt and sense overall i'm going to talk about this here in a moment i get the sense overall this person has not a great sense of i think they have a little bit of self-doubt um concerns about the the way they work who they are and, and, and how they do things their plans for the future however they are an exceptional judge in terms of uh, not just decision making but judge of character of others as well they're highly perceptive and highly intuitive and i want to reassure this person that actually i don't think they need to worry because when the time is right they will seize that opportunity and that opportunity is coming and they all they need to do is rely on their gut and also don't work so hard these many many upward lines all up the fingers here uh, um, we're, we're looking at some real sort of exhaustion here this is a very hard worker uh, which is frustrating really there's a lot actually that's it that's the thing i'm seeing is frustration stress all this hard work and it's not paying off and there's this kind of question of you know am i doing the right thing here self-doubt yes you are actually stop working so hard work smart don't work hard because this opportunity is coming um but it's not until truly um 50 53 is it appears to be there's a, all of a sudden twice the income the twice there's two income streams streams they're very strong now this right here is a memory loop and it provides this extra um, sensitivity and perception um, there's a strong link here with the subconscious and uh, a strong uh, green recall and it's often seen on the hands of counselors and 
palmists uh, they have one and it, it provides it's an extra sort of indicator of psychic ability as well i do think the more i look at this person's palm the more i see um, that kind of gift here and i do think that this person has potentially uh, not yet unlocked these gifts and maybe this sudden explosion of um, success is you know it comes it, it's part of this it's definitely linked because the subconscious and our creative abilities it's all abstract it's all that side of the brain it's all the right side of the brain this success is certainly stemming from and connected to the heart line this is another sign of an artistic endeavor a success stemming from a creative industry and also it's a sign of uh, success that's uh, enriched and in st uh, strengthened by um, a partner by um, a lover now this mole right here is a bit of a mystery to me and i could be wrong about this if this maybe i'm wrong maybe that isn't a mole um, but this is and this it could be uh, some sort of negating factor against physical taste in some way i could be wrong about that so let me let me know please now the last thing i'm going to mention here is the hands this is the lifeline here much um more narrow than the left hand. The left hand it kind of swings out quite boldly. It reaches right outwards towards Neptune before it begins to wrap right round the thumb again, quite low and far out. Whereas this Venus mount here appears very small because of the confined life. Now that's exactly what's happening here. This person is living quite um a confined um in, in quite a confined way because of how hard they're working because of their family obligations at home um their friend sphere although they have friends they're you know quite sort of limited i don't think they are living the social lifestyle they used to i think that's um i think they were they will die in their native homeland as well i don't think they will move long distance at all i think they have in some ways sort of isolated themselves a little bit in order to um essentially just sort of get by you know work kids work kids that seems to be what's happening here and i think there are well let me see on the subjects of kids i think there are two but i could be wrong in any case, I see really positive things ahead for this person. However, there is somewhat of a difficult road from, uh, in particular, 45 to 53. This will be a time to really um, tighten the purse. But fear not, after this time, things look great. And I expect that the roots of this success uh, will strengthen as well. All right, so that's it for this palm reading. Let me know what your thoughts are. Perhaps you've learned a thing or two here. Um, and maybe you've picked up on something that I haven't. I'd like to know what your thoughts are. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.